guys. Uh, this is our new mirror image turbochargers. I'm really proud of these things. Took a long time to come up with units that just really work bitching. Uh, these are our 72 millimeter uh, mirror image Nelson Racing turbochargers. They feature a fully billet compressor wheel. Um, they're water cooled if you want them to be. It could be ball bearing or bushing. They have a divided exhaust housing and they just kick ass. These are good up to 1800 horsepower and perfect for either a racer or, or a street car. Uh, they just spool really good. We run them on 300 inch motors all the way up to 570 inch motors and they just work totally bitching. And now the advantages of this turbocharger compared to the conventional turbocharger is now you can have your left header the same as your right header and you can have your intake pipes going to the intercooler the same. It just totally makes the fabrication and the layout easier for one and two, the layout will be totally symmetrical and bitchin' rather than lopsided looking after all these years. So I'm pretty proud of them. We've been testing them really hard before we released them and I just wanted to make sure that everything was cash and uh, they just work fantastic. So the one awesome thing about all of this is during all the testing we've been doing, we've tested it on multiple engines. This is better than the best 72 we've ever used by 100 horsepower. So we tested it on a big block, it picked up 99. Test, tested it on a small block Ford, it picked up like 120. So these are super efficient and super efficient uh, turbochargers, not only for the aesthetics and the ease of installation and balancing of the motor, and easier on the motor, reliable on the motor, but they're worth more horsepower. You know, same boost, more horsepower. So it's just an awesome turbocharger. I'm really proud of them and uh, we're making up for the masses now. So here you have it, the very first NRE production turbochargers for the masses. Mirror image symmetrical turbochargers. This is our very first development testing of them. We're testing them on Mick Howard's 509. And we just made some pulls against our very best 72 that we normally use. And we picked up 99 horsepower with this new billet wheel design and the fact that it's symmetrical. So not only do you get the sexiness of a mirror image turbo, but it's also completely functional. Take a look at this bad boy, look at that. Beautiful billet wheel. And of course what you don't normally see is the counter rotator. Oh yeah. Available in water-cooled ball bearings. So you can water-cool this, ball bearing center section if you like, bushing if you like. So there's the water-cooled section. These are 8-4 housings. Divide it with 72 millimeter wheels. This is the very first testing of the NRE production symmetrical turbochargers. No longer made in all billet. These are the cast versions for the masses. Very proud of these. Exhaust housing. 
for the turbocharger. We also run a three inch V band on the outlet on the discharge rather than having to you know all the other turbochargers they have the three and a half inch V band and in testing we it's just it's no extra power so for real estate in the installation we put these at a three inch and that makes not having to put the cone transition in there when you're doing it from the install we also put a centering ring on here so when you put the pipe in it'll center itself in there and that's real handy for when you tighten up the V band <laughs> All right, well here you have it. Here's Turbo X, one of our best performing turbos to date. This is the non-symmetrical version making 819 foot-pounds with a peak of 781 horsepower at 5900. And this is right around 8 pounds of boost. And then we'll go to our NRE Billet Turbo and show you the difference. Okay, here's the NRE Villa Turbo, 832 foot-pound peak with an 899 horsepower. So over a hundred horsepower increase at 5,900 RPM. Pretty bad to the bone. 744 at the start of the pull. It really just starts to really work much better. Above 4,800, the thing just starts singing. And this is seven and a half pounds of boost. Pretty bad ass. Eleven hundred and twenty seven foot pounds, eleven hundred and ninety horsepower and climbing, super conservative pull, only fifteen pounds of boost. Beautiful. twin turbo small block Ford Windsor based hot rod series it's got our new mirror image uh, billet uh, NRE turbochargers first of their kind our patented deal uh, this motor is an easy 1600 horse at 3600 or 36 pounds it's making today 466, shutting off early at 28. And it's just a sweet little combination. It's got our built throttle body nose grafted into a sheet metal intake with the dual injector per cylinder. Some of our sheet metal valve covers, our stainless headers. It's just a sweet deal.
Yeah, it's gonna exist. Right. Still, yeah. if you don't, it won't make any more than 28 uh, when out the spring, you know? Okay. But I believe this is enough <laughs> for, for a car. So start of this pull, we got 1,356 foot-pounds, 1,466 horsepower and climbing, 28 pounds of boost, pretty bitchin'. This is on the twin turbo Ford hot rod series, up to 36 PSI. So we're here uh, testing Booby Gubjorn uh, 428 twin turbo hot rod series uh, for his crazy uh, twin turbo powered water crossing Jeep. And uh, this is his crew. And uh, what do you have to say? He will be happy with it. With his power. What do you guys tell me a little about the experience about the the what you think about the motor? Uh, there are no words for it. <laughs> <laughs> it's, yeah, it's really powerful. Okay, awesome. All right, well, we'll see. We'll be looking forward to some uh, crazy video in the Jeep. Yeah.